Hi guys, here is Francisco and I'm going to show you how to create a chef table to do your subnets and I think this is one of the easiest way that's how I do first I will create the chef I will just copy something here and then I will explain to you how that works the first thing you have to know is that you're going to be working with IP version 4 which is 32 bits it is basic too and it is all the power of two that's how you calculate the IP version 4 in this first line you have the base 2 calculations the base 2 maths here is 2 to the power 0 which is all number 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 2 to the power of 1 2 to the second, 2 to the third, and so on. In the second line, I'm gonna add just the dots, which is gonna represent just the bits that we're gonna be borrowing during our subnetting. In this third line, is the the math whatever you borrow a bit that's what's gonna be if you borrow one bit you have the value of 128 if you borrow two bits you have 128 plus 64 which is equal to 192 if you borrow three bits 128 plus, which is equal to 224 and so on It doesn't allow me to copy. Alright, here you go. In this line, we have our network. Let me put this a little bit further. Mm. Much better. Now, here we have our network. If you borrow one bit, we have two subnets. If you borrow two bits, we have four subnets. If you borrow three bits, eight subnets, and so on. And I'm gonna show you how it works in a practical example as we finish this chart. Now we have our host line. If you borrow one bit for the subnet, right here you have two. two you have two subnets and 256 hosts but we cannot use 256 we're gonna, we're gonna have 254 usable addresses if you borrow two bits you have four subnets and 128 addresses but you can use just 126 so as more bits you borrow you have more subnets and less hosts and now I'm gonna add our default subnet slash notation. Here you have subnet class A which is slash H. If you borrow a bit, this slash H becomes slash 9. If you borrow two bits, it becomes slash 10, slash 11, and so on. In the class B which is slash 16, if you borrow a bit, it becomes 11, 7, slash 17. 18 and so on class C which is slash 24 if you borrow one bit it becomes 25 and so on now I'm gonna add just our the full subnet, ma subnet mask just in case if someone doesn't remember this is our default subnet mask, class A, which is 255.0.0.0, class B, 255.255.0.0, and class C, 255.255.255.0. And also, our IP addresses ranges, which is going to help us to figure out, when you see an IP address, figure out in which range this IP belongs to 
So now we have our subnet chart done. Now let's do some practical. So over here we are request to create six subnets with 30 hosts. We have this network address 195. In which IP range, which IP class this IP address belongs to? 195. Let's have a look in our chart. We have here 1127 is class A, 128 to 191 is class B, 192 to 123 is class C. So here is 195, after 192 it is class C. So we know already that this is an IP address class C. Which is what is our default subnet mask for in class C? 255, 255, 255.0. Now, what is our custom subnet mask? Let's see. We need six subnets. Let's have a look in our search. We need six subnets. Over here we have two subnets, four subnets, and eight subnets. Insert. Forms. So we're gonna draw a line here. So if we need six subnets, we have here eight subnets. So we we borrowed three bits to have eight subnets. So 128 plus 24 plus 32 is 224. So we just repeat the three first octets 255, 255, 255, 224. This is our current subnet mask because we borrowed three bits. Number of bits borrowed? Three. Total number of subnet. Our total number subnet in our chat we see that is 8 total number subnet 8 total number of host address we have here 8 in network and we have right here 32 for host address which is 1 2 3 4 5 2 to the 5 32 we have 32 host address and usable host address 30 which is host minus 2 that is it using our chat we just fill this subnet chart let's see another example using let's see the number 8 Let's see the 7, which is a class B. Seven here. Now, we have this IP address, which is 178. 178, let's have a look in our range. From 128 to 191 is class B. So this is an class B. What's the full subnet for class B? 255, 255, 255. Dot 0.0. Now, a current subnet mask. We need 2000 subnets. Number of needed usable hosts 15. And set line. the line here yeah. 
number of needed usable holes 15. Now the question is, we need 15 holes, why don't you put the line here and get 16 holes? Because we need to take out 2, so 16 is not enough. We have to put this line here and have 32 holes. Total number of hosts 32 usable 30. If you go all the way 2 to the 8, you have just 256. If you go 2 to the 9, 2 to the 9, you have 512. If you go, if you borrow 2 bits, 2 more bits, and you go 2 to the 10 you have 1024 which is not enough and if you go to to the 11 you have 2048 which is enough because we need 2000 so if you borrow 3 bits you have 2048 which stops in 224 which is your and if you have a look you went all the way 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you come back 9, 10, 11. So we're gonna fill this Kirsten Subnet mask with 255, 255, as we use all the octets in the first, in the third octet, it becomes 255 as well. And we bought three more bits, it's gonna be. 224. What's the total number of subnets? The total number of subnets is 2 to the power of 11, which is 2048 subnets. How many bits did we borrow? 11. That's it in this number 7. Now we're gonna do another example. We need three subnets and we have this IP address 200.175, which is a class C it's from let's see in our shirt from 192 to 123 it is class C. So we have 200 is over 192. This is a class C. IP address. Let's see. What's the subnet mask? The full subnet mask, mask for class C? 255. 255.255.0. We need three subnets in 45 holes. Have a look in our shirt. We need just three subnets. We can move this line for here. And we need 42 holes. If we keep this line here, we have 32 holes, which is not enough. So we're gonna move to here. We have 64 holes and 4 subnets. And we also have our custom subnet mask, which is 192, just looking at the chart. Let's go back to our question. Cruise subnet mask 254, 254, 255.192. Why 192? Because we borrowed 2 bits, 128 plus 64 is equal to 192. What else do we want? Total number of subnets. Total number of subnets. Four subnets. Four subnets. Total number of host addresses. 64. Right here. On the right side of the line. 64. Number of usable address. 64 minus 2, 62. Number of bits that we borrow, 
two bits and this is the number H question let's have a look in the number H question the answers to make sure Here you go. Subnet mask 255.255.192. Total number of subnets 464. Just like we did.